I love the idea of um, applying business to uplift people and um, applying it where not only the sole, the sole goal was profit, uh, but helping people and trying to improve the face of business a little bit. So as an entrepreneurship major, it just seemed kind of like a perfect fit. I was thinking about taking a class on modern South Africa and saw the opportunity to go to South Africa um, and at the same time take um, a business class for the first time in my college career, which was something I was interested in given that I had done a business co-op before and wanted to learn more. I waited until my senior year and the South Africa program um, came on my radar through an email um, and I was really excited about it because I've always wanted to have an opportunity um, where I can go not only study abroad but actually interact with the people there and work with them and try and help um, for try and help with a social benefit and also learn a little bit more about entrepreneurship because none of my majors um, had actually touched upon that so to take some entrepreneurship classes and to be able to work with people from the townships was a very appealing experience for me. All the students that went abroad on this program were consulting with township businesses and township entrepreneurs and each um, program or each business was different in scope so each of the students here are going to talk about um, the project that your group worked on with the businesses that your team helped to create. This gentleman wanted to start a, a fitness and wellness center in the area. There was a, a previous attempt that had sort of fallen through in a, a local um, community rec center and he wanted to revive its original purpose and sort of bring that opportunity to um, those in the township who would otherwise have not had access to such facilities. When we first got South Africa, it was going to be, we were going to be working for a dance company that was going to start in the townships. And then that fell through and we were going to work for a lawyer. And we went and visited him and he didn't really need our services. And so um, Katie and I got to experience real, I, I don't know, it was just such a real experience. and. Um, I felt like that was a real business experience that I was having that, you know, everything that you plan for doesn't always go how you think it will. So uh, we ended up actually working on the documentary that you just saw and that turned out to be a really amazing opportunity because we got to follow all of the students on their path and, and as they were helping entrepreneurs and we got to know the other SEBA students really well and got to know the townships every well, or very well. So it ended up being a great experience for us. Uh, we worked with a community center in the township of Longa. Um, the name of the community center is Gugusatebe, and it's focused around arts and culture there. So it was originally established through the city of Cape Town to foster arts and culture and to bring in people to be trained in different arts, um, which started out, uh, as we found out, um, pretty well and then they had some issues with management and their board kind of left the business altogether um, so we found out in our time that there that they really had some major management and accountability issues um, but we still could offer um, guidance and we ended up offering them a marketing plan and a list of um, recommendations for improving their overall business model as well as their management within the business. Um, I worked on a project called RETSCAN SA um, with a nurse named Diane Powell. Um, the idea was to offer a low-cost screening service for diabetics um, for a disease called diabetic retinopathy, which leads to blindness. Um, the idea was to find a way to, well, she had, she had the idea um, lined out, but to implement a system for screening for the disease very in a very cost-effective manner um, so that it could be delivered to um, residents of townships who traditionally had no access to that level of health care um, and in fact did not really have any health insurance um, aside from pu the public provision which is marginal compared to the private sector um, in South Africa which is actually some of the best health care in the world if you have access to it. Um, and ultimately what we provided to her was um, a series of contacts in the industry um, to help sort of put some feelers out for partnering on different projects, um, a revenue and cost projection to help kind of lock down some of her numbers, and also recommendations on how to go about funding the project, what would be practical and what would not. I worked on, my project was a little bit different from you know all the other projects. I worked um, with um, a Northeastern student, Josh Trotwine, and 
um, three other um, South African called TIBA students. Um, we worked on a male magazine called um, Me Magazine, uh, Male Ego Magazine. And um, basically the, um, the founder, Dando, um, wanted to, um, he wanted us to basically explore the South African market um, for black, black male magazines, which um, actually don't exist in South Africa. Um, and so he was trying to um, create um, the first one. And so um, we helped him um, do a lot of consulting and um, basically um, figured out a way for him to um, launch his magazine in the most um, effective way and in the most sustainable way. And so that's pretty much um, what we did. Either positive or negative, what was the um, greatest learning experience that you had while abroad in South Africa? Um, <coughs> the most <coughs> profound and lasting um, learning experience personally that I got from the program, and I'm sure you're going to hear it echoed from a lot of the other students, but it really can't be overstated. Um, it's just that business has a lot more to offer people than a, a, a more robust bottom line. That business actually can do a lot of good in the community. Um, as Professor Shaughnessy said, we have a lot of, you know, we're taught a lot of very efficient business models in the States, but um, not really taught um, what to do with all the, the profits or the proceeds or the benefits that come from that efficiency. So just learning that um, business can serve the people around it and can, you know, provide a lot more than just a high return was um, the most important thing that I got from the program. The most important thing I learned is the power of business um, to, up, to uplift people in a community firsthand and also the fact that I want to personally have a hand in social entrepreneurship in some way throughout my life, hopefully eventually in a big way. Um, I would say also I took away the same <coughs> lesson, um, but just to touch on some specific reasons, why is business so effective in addressing the social um, needs in a way that really hasn't received a lot of attention before? Um, and I think it comes from, number one, the fact that when you're, when you're involved in a social business, you are directly serving and meeting the needs of um, a population which is traditionally underserved. And you're catering a business, um, an entity which, is, which is, um, has the potential to be profitable consequently is likely to be sustainable, not rely on outside donor needs and the whims of outside donors. Um, and you provide something which has benefits to everyone involved with it. Um, um, we were kind of taught that to, to think of the concept of uh, stakeholders in a company rather than shareholders. It's not the owners of the business necessarily, it's the employees of the business and the customers of the business and Yes, the shareholders of the business, but making the shareholders the customer base, um, creating a business which ultimately is owned by its employees and its customers. Um, so, good example of this, um, Kavicha Cookies, um, which was one business we looked at. Um, basically, it was um, a business which took women, impoverished women from within townships, um, gave them the skills and gave them employment opportunities in a cookie factory which made a specialized product um, which has the potential to expand um, and also gives a stake in the company um, to the employees. I had never really understood how um, big businesses could help benefit um, emerging countries um, and emerging communities and I think that one of the things that we all learned was actually how to act in those situations and how to approach um, those people and those businesses because it's very different from your co-op experience and from your classroom experience. Um, and I think that for me that was one of the most valuable things I took away um, was how to, not only how big business affects, um, can affect and can help um, these communities, but also how to work with these people and how to, and how to basically be an entrepreneur and how to, how to be out there I'm actually doing it. What struck me was um, how far-reaching just um, building one business in a small community could be because um, do, um, building one business could actually, you know, if, if that business succeeds, they end up, you know, employing, you know, a bunch of other people in the community and that way, um, you know, it, it has the um, capacity to actually uplift a lot more people from, um, you know, from uh, poverty.